All right, yeah, so Ashley got a question the other day about how she cuts a mango. So we figured what better way than to show you from the pro herself. And she's not just any pro. She's the most savage, ruthless mango-eating mother out there. All right, Ashley, what do you got for us? All right, so I cut a tall fall mango. It's a different, little bit different than I would cut another mango. But I basically just slice all around the outside. That's mess, all the cutting you have to do. Not messing around here. And then you just like dig your fingers under the skin and rip it off. It gets it a lot closer to the skin, I feel like, than, you're not than cutting anything. it. Yeah, you're getting the fibers off of the skin as well, not just a nice clean cut, but And then you just like <laughs> and just dig in. Ruthless. <laughs> Compost for the win. What's up, y'all? All right, now you saw how the pro does it. I'm a newbie, but I still think I got a pretty good method. A little bit less savage, but <laughs> here's how I do it. You grab a nice ripe mango. It's got some wrinkles on there. You give it a nice little wash. I don't get too much in the compost there. All right, so you find the little butthole on there. <laughs> And then you just move over like a like a quarter inch or a half inch. You kind of want to play. The pit is long way, right? And so you kind of want to feel like where it's catching on the pit, but get a nice clean cut through. You can kind of feel the resistance of the pit. How you just kind of graze it right there. Turn it over. Do the same thing on the other side. Get as close as you can to the pit. And then I kind of just skin back this thin layer down. The other side, see this is taking way longer. I could have already been halfway done <laughs> if I did the other method. Okay, so I got that done. And then I just cut these ones in half. And then they're just nice and easy to smash. 